Choosing a breeder for your new canine companion is the second biggest decision that you'll make after deciding on the breed itself, so it deserves some serious consideration. So what exactly should you look for to find a top-notch breeder? Now that's what today's video is all about, and by the end of it you'll know if you found the perfect breeder for your new German Shepherd puppy. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything about the glorious German Shepherd. So if you love them as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future German Shepherd video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll go over everything that you need to consider when choosing the right breeder for your new German Shepherd puppy. When you are looking to get your new German Shepherd puppy from a breeder, you want to consider a lot of different factors and questions that you want to ask when researching and then interviewing potential breeders. It's always recommended that you're able to meet at least one but ideally both of your new puppy's parents and can visit the breeder multiple times before taking your new puppy home. This allows you to get a better sense of the environment they were raised in and the dedication of the breeder is not just to the breed but to every individual canine that they produce. One of the most important questions you want to ask when considering a breeder for your puppy is how long have they been breeding German Shepherds and for what purpose? Now what I mean by this is are they producing them just to jump on a trend or because they are a fan of the breed or are they breeding what they consider to be the best examples of the breed and to show them in canine competitions? You want a breeder who has a purpose behind breeding these canines and takes the breed's reputation very seriously. Now, by going and visiting the breeder, you're also able to see the health of the parents and the siblings of your new puppy to make sure this coincides with what the breeder has told you is the typical life expectancy for their dogs, as well as to see if there are any obvious health issues with the mother or the father. Now, most breeders will screen for a variety of different conditions, so you'll want to look at the records for their siblings, for their parents, and other previous litters if possible. German Shepherds for a time were irresponsibly bred for a sloping top line, meaning that their hips were considerably lower than their shoulders. As you can imagine, this is a nightmare for their joints and causes arthritis and other painful conditions long before they reach old age. Make sure the breeder you choose doesn't follow this destructive trend and breeds their German Shepherds for a natural and functional skeletal confirmation. One of the best parts about getting a puppy from a really high quality breeder where you can visit several times is you get to see the temperament of your new German Shepherd compared to their closest relatives. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue center, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behavior modification programs to allow them to be perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes so if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below I think you'll really enjoy the journey but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching with puppies their personalities is often influenced by their early environment in many cases it will be quite evident if your visit is the only attention they get or if they are frequently in the home and interacting with others as they should be your puppy's parents should be exemplary examples of everything that you hope your new German Shepherd puppy will be as well when they grow up. You'll want to ask the breeder questions regarding other litters that they've had, as well as the parents of your new German Shepherd puppy. Were their intelligence and guarding instincts uh, really tested, and what are they like? Since German Shepherds are very protective by instinct, this will give you an idea of what you might expect from your new puppy. Even if the breeder says that the dog they produce have a low level of reactivity, you will still need to be very thorough and disciplined in their training and socialization, no matter how well adjusted and well socialized the German Shepherd was as a puppy. They are an imposing and powerful breed that absolutely must be well trained and socialized throughout their entire lives. Of course, every dog is an individual and has the potential to be nothing like their siblings or their parents. So make sure you do your research on the breed in general and have the experience to be the canine leader they need on either extreme of their average temperaments. Breeders that genuinely care about the canines they produce will be excellent resources for you and will likely stay in touch throughout the dog's life. 
A few of the big things to keep in mind when choosing a breeder is that an ideal breeder will, they will have done a thorough health records going back multiple generations. They will have current knowledge of the now grown dogs from other litters, which means you should be able to reach out to them and see what those dogs have turned into. They will ask you plenty of questions to confirm that you're the right fit, have a purpose to breeding other than just making money, be dedicated to providing their puppies with many different experiences and socialization opportunities before you take them home. They will be a knowledgeable resource for you throughout the life of your new canine companion. The real key is to do a lot of research on the breed and if you are new to them then do an equal amount of research to find the right breeder. Someone who truly cares about the breed and the individuals of each litter won't let them just go to any home and want to stay in touch throughout their lives. Responsible breeders play a considerable role in the success of your relationship with your new German Shepherd and it's not a decision that you should be making lightly. Now I hope you enjoyed that video, if you did and you found it useful please give it a thumbs up and remember if you're new to subscribe turn on that notification bell because I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre German Shepherd Show. Hey guys very quickly I just wanted to ask are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account at Femre Canine Leaders where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally that's at I am Will Atherton where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me that's the place for you so there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there